probably should train with friggin Mr. Deuterino. So many people <gasps> died in this bastard had to survive. It's Kunesh. I see you survived. Aren't you observant? You still owe me. Don't think I <laughs> I don't owe you. I owe your father, and he's dead. So get out of here. You can stick your money up your ass, you fucker. Ah! <laughs> Based. Wait a second. Aren't you my friend from the village, too? God be with you. How are you coping? As well as we can, Henry. You can be glad Sir Radzik took you into his service. I hear you even go hunting with Lord Capon. I've been once. And I don't think it'll be happening again anytime soon. Ah, it's a shame. Because I was gonna ask a favor of you. I'm sure you know there's a lot of hungry mouths here, so I thought you might be able to help. You mean you want me to bring you game from the woods? Are you mad? That's poaching. No, no, that's not what I meant. It's the townspeople here who have a taste for game. They want to live like the nobility, see? A few of the burghers have been to see me already, to ask if we'd try our luck in the woods. They promised us supplies in exchange. Flour, lard, eggs, and the like. But mm. we can't afford to take the risk of poaching. We're barely tolerated as it is. If one of ours got caught in the woods, they'd hang him from the nearest tree. But I was thinking... You! You're in Sir Radzik's garrison, and you go hunting with Sir Hans. You could help us. Well, I got away with brawling with Laura Capon, so I don't suppose they'll string me up for a few hairs. Great, Henry. I really appreciate it. The local tailor was asking me about getting some hairs to put on a feast for a visiting merchant. All right. I'll bring you something. Thank you. Not any time soon, though. No. From starvation. <laughs> Hmm. Wait a second, my fucking horse. My horse is all the way back there. No! I've got to go to. Riki. Which means leaving out of the. I guess I could leave out of either gate. I want to go to the Rate Mill and see. See if I can talk to the miller about it. Maybe I'll practice a little bit of unarmed with Sir Robert. Uh, Sir Bernard. Though I kind of don't want to right now. I'm already injured from the previous training. I got most of the damage from just the friggin' mace training. For whatever reason, I guess... Here's the thing, the wooden training sword must be like a fake weapon, but the wooden club he uses must like be a, like an actual wooden club you can get, like the bludgeon. Because I was taking so much damage when I was getting bludgeoned. Um, alright, I guess I'll travel around the side here, visit the miller, I'll just fast travel to him, excuse me, thank you, oh, it's making me go through the entire town to do so, it's highly disrespectful. Alright, does he have anything to say since I paid off the debt? Good health to you. Oh, he just doesn't bring it up. Tell me something about yourself. There's nothing much to tell. I was born at the mill, I live here, and I'll surely die here. But before I do, I've plenty of work to do. And I hope I live to see peace in this land again. Mm hmm. Well, I guess I'll just go. I will do the Miller's quests at some point. Wait, go and see the mill winch before noon? What time is it now? Well beyond noon? That's going to have to be another day. Uh, am I facing the right way? No, I'm not. I want to go down here and around. Okay. Oh, you know what? 
I do actually feel like I'm much faster on this horse. Yeah. Especially when I'm galloping. That was a really good upgrade. Real glad I picked it up. I've discovered another shrine. Fantastic. Wait, how did Henry read that first shrine? Friend, come closer. I have an enticing offer for you. Oh, okay. First things first, I'm gonna save. I'm running low on save your snaps, but this guy looks pretty badass. Fred, what's the matter? Ah, nothing's the matter. I just like to pass the time of day with a fellow wayfarer. I see. What do you have in mind? We could have a little bout of combat. For the sake of practice. Who are you, anyway? And what do you do? Me? I'm just a wayfarer with a sword. I roam the world trying to earn a crust. That's all. So you're a bandit? You do me an injustice. I try to avoid banditry. Although, last winter I had to resort to that too. What about that duel? Yeah, fuck it. I just saved. Alright, why not? Finally, a taker. I hope you have coin though. Yeah, sure. I have. I'm glad to hear it. Let's get to it then. God, I hope this motherfucker. What, you started off? <laughs> Hold up, you fucking piece of shit. Fucking hell! You bastard! Why don't I have a sword equipped? Okay, well, whatever. Way off. I think I'm actually hitting him. Every single time, or almost every single time. <laughs> yeah, I keep I keep hearing thunking sounds. Is that all you got, brother? Oh shit, he's actually taking my stamina out. Man. There. We'll pay up. Be on your way. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Okay, no, I'm not accepting that. He fucking fought me when I didn't have my weapon and I couldn't equip it. That's cheating. That's bullshit. So why the fuck don't I have a sword? It must be because I fucking train with the one dude. Our... What's the matter? Wouldn't Nothing's the matter, blah blah blah. All right. All right. Why not? Well, surely you didn't. Yep. I'm glad. All right, motherfucker. Let's see how you like this. That's pretty decent. 
It's not as good as Bernard, but you did just get me. I find it a lot harder to anticipate the axe blows, to be honest, or like get it, getting it just the right time. See, I'm getting those feints past him. Okay, Blanc. So, poke, left, right, never mind, he attacked me, poke, he's getting me with a little bit of a chain, so poke, left, never mind, poke, left, right, nope, it's really hard to get the... Stuff going. Fuck it. Oh, didn't realize he was doing stuff. Need to regain my stamina. I activated the perk Satist. This is not my day. Here, take your coin and run along. Fantastic. Oh. In a fair fight, it was no match. Actually, he was pretty he's a pretty good match. Not gonna lie. Beat my ass up. I'm so injured. I'm gonna have to rest in the next town. Yeah. Maybe I need to buy more Marigold concoctions, I guess. Kind of Baroque right now, though. Here's Ledechko. Did I get its fast travel point? Don't think I did yet. Um, I think I had to find someone named Stinky. Wait a second, I discovered a grindstone? Where? I could probably grind my shit right now. For free, right? Troughed up. Where's the grindstone? It's gotta be somewhere in the shop. Right? There it is. Is it a minigame? You've got to be kidding me. You want to maintain bladed weapons, you can save your kit and hone it yourself on a grindstone where you can find every smithy. Weapon must be honed along the whole length of the blade. That seems ridiculous. Need a little bit more angle. Oh, I can just use... Have I gotten everything? How can I tell when I'm done? Okay, have I honed it? Let's see. Oh, I've honed the crap out of it. Wonderful. Oh, my padded armor is fucked too. Can I use my tailor's kit on anything? Yeah, on my waffin' rock. Okay. Cobbler's kit. Oh, I can repair my hunter's glove. Don't have enough skill to repair the rest of my armor. I'll haggle for a couple grasses. Hmm. Aye, that would do it. Fantastic. Reputation gained. You tell me about Ricky. Do you know him? You mean Hinek? 
He's the Tanner's son, isn't he? Oh. Any idea where I could find him? I don't know. Tried his folks' house, but he doesn't spend much time there. So you know this Hinnock? Can you tell me something about him? Not much, I confess. Most of the village folk avoid him like the plague. Why is that? Because he reeks. No one with a nose likes spending too much time around Tanners. And that reeky keeps bad company. I've never heard a good word said about him. Why has he got such a bad name? Hmm. Well, like his own man. He doesn't talk much to anyone. And then he's always skulking off somewhere. I heard he got a taste of the pillory in Rate for thieving. And then Neuhoff he got boost up in the alehouse with his cronies and they beat up some merchants. So a bit more than high spirits? Just so. We're all honest folk here, and we've no use for the likes of him. Don't tell me there's not a single person who talks to him. He's been seen around with one of the bathhouse wenches. Adela, I believe she's called. Mm. Take care now. Awesome. So Ricky's father is right over there, and then the wench is at sea. Got it. Alright. I think the father is probably that dude right there. Yep. God be with you. I'm looking for your son. Any idea where he might be? I don't know nothing. Don't you at least know where he usually goes? It's important. Hinek shows up at home once in a blue moon, so I don't know nothing about where he gets to. Even if I did, why would I tell every Tom, Dick and Harry? Your son is about to get into deep shit. I'm trying to find him so I can warn him. That's nothing new. He's always up to his ears. Based. But this time his neck's on the block. He got mixed up with some very dangerous people. I have to find him. All right. He was here a few days ago, but he left right away. He looked like... like he was in a hurry. And you don't know where he went? I've got an idea, but I don't know where it is exactly. I don't follow. Hinek makes some money on the side from poaching. Oh. He boasted to me a few times about what a great hideout he found in the woods. But he never told me where it is. Well, it's not much to go on. But it's better than nothing. Thank you. Go. And if he's really in as much shit as you say, please try and find him. Very excellent. Now I guess I'll talk to the bath person. It'll be great. I'll finally take a bath. So my clothing will be totally muddy for once. Oh, and I've got the fast travel point. Fantastic. And lodgings. Greetings. What do you need? Oh, Jesus. I heard you've been seeing Hinek, the Tanner's son. So what? Come to preach at me, have you? That I'm a loose woman, a sinner, that I seduce decent Looks men. like Buzz Lightyear. God, no, nothing like that. It's just that you're the only one in the village who sees Hinek, so I came to ask you about him. I have seen him often enough. I don't know what I could tell you about him. I found out that Hinek goes poaching in the woods and he's got a hideout there. What do you know about it? Um... Don't worry. Hinek has much bigger problems than being caught. She probably banged him in the eye out. You're not involved in it anyway, are you? No, I'm not. It's true he used to go hunting in the woods sometimes. When he came back, he'd usually come to me. That's all. Oh. How did you know he'd been to the woods? He always talks about what he caught. And he never came to me at other times. Probably didn't have the money for it. Do you know what route he took? At least the general direction. Anything that could help me find his hideout. I think he usually went through the woodcutter's camp. Because oh. he always brought me freshly chopped ah, She's really a Sherlock Holmes. On his boots. Good. So at least I know where to start. Do you know who he sold it to? He never told me straight up. But who could he sell it to? The innkeeper, I reckon. It makes sense. For sure. <laughs> Oh, 
May the Lord watch over you. God be with you. Do you need anything? I'd like to make use of the bathhouse's services. And what is it you'd like? Heal my wounds, bath and laundry. A bit of everything. Heal my wounds, have a proper bath. Oh, and my garments are in need of laundering. That can be arranged, but you'll pay in advance. I'm not giving you that much. And how much are you willing to pay? Maybe, uh, 28 groschen. You won't regret spending the money. Oh, Guaranteed. yes. Two groschen get. That takes four hours? Are you fucking serious? I could sleep and heal my fucking wounds. Whatever. Alright. So I've talked to the wench. I guess I can talk to the innkeeper since it's literally right here. It's nice to have a full HP bar, at least. Villager, innkeeper. There we go. I'll be with you. God be with you. I want to ask about the courier's son, Hinek. And ask someone else. They have nothing to do with Riki. He'd only drive my customers away. <laughs> really? I heard a different story. I heard the two of you do business together. Who are you, anyway? A friend of Hinex. He's gone missing, and I need to find him. I don't know where he is. Here. But if you find the bastard, tell him he still owes me some goods. Okay. I've no time for this. I have to find Hinek, and you're going to help me. Am I now? Even if I did know, why the hell would I help you? This is a nice alehouse you have here. <laughs> It'd be a shame if anything happened to it. <laughs> are you threatening me? What do you think? So are you going to talk, or do I have to beat it out of you? Fine. Let's get to the point then. See now. Reputation lots. Where there's a will, there's a way. I did some deals with Riki, but I swear to God, I don't know where he is. I hear Hinak has a hideout in the woods he uses for hunting game. Do you know where it is? Not exactly. That is... I don't know where it is at all. But? But I happen to know it's a dark place. A cave or an old mine shaft. How do you know that? Huh. Whenever Riki was going poaching, he always came to me first for candles and lamp oil. He brought the game skinned and gutted, so he had to have a light for that. How much game did he bring you? Not much, a few pieces. There's no great demand here. Help Sometimes me. the gentry hears something, otherwise it ends up in sausages. And do you know of any mine shafts nearby? There's a few of them around. I'll have a beer. There's one on the opposite bank, mm. a short way off the path leading from the forge to the west. Then there's a mine gallery to the east of the village, uh, up in the woods above the cliffs. And I heard there's one shaft on the headland close to the water. Thank you. You're welcome. Watch you don't break your neck, though. It's rough ground, and you could easily fall down a shaft. Farewell. Amazing. Find the shaft on Promontory, find the cave in the hills by Ledeshko. I could use a place to sleep. Bed for the night. All right, for how long? For one Just night. Just for one night. Sure, but let's... Here you go. You'll like it. Where's the bed? That's easy. As soon as you go indoors, the end, end of the room, room on the left, on the left there's a door, there's a door leading to the chamber. End of the room on the left. Guessing it's the open one. Oh, this is my room. Amazing. Do I have anything that I want to put away? Let's see. No, looks like... I mean, I could put the skull cap away, I guess. Everything else seems fine. Wait, I'm full energy? Oh, man. 
I don't want to be looking for fucking mine shafts and shit at night. Hold up. Ask at the woodcutter's camp. The camp's there, so it's got to be the cave in the hills by Ledechko. Um, I probably could read another book. Let's see, do I have any books? I've already read Hercules and his diet. No, I can't just read this again, right? Damn it. Oh, man. Whatever. It's a losing nourishment. You know, that perk with the book... Where it says you lose less nourishment over time? Are you serious? She's doing... Who the fuck is this person? Whatever. <laughs> That's spooky as hell. Crazy old lady just singing in the dead of night. I mean, I guess it's pretty close to morning, actually. Alright, we just need to... Go up... To E. Apparently I could ask around more about the dude. I don't think I have to. I guess I'll just go this away. I think we're running a little bit low on food, so that's something I'm going to have to bear in mind. Oh, I guess I'll go this way. There we go. Yeah. Oh, it looks pretty bright. I think I could just, yeah, see without the torch. Yeah. It's gonna be a little bit fucky in the forest, but still, Rate Woods. There's so many fucking assholes who are just camped in the middle of nowhere. It's so annoying. I guess it does make them more of a pain in the ass to find. Is that like a herb or something? No, it's a rock. It's a glowing. Alright, need to continue left. Words. If we get lucky, we might be able to find some bandits. It's an encampment, which would be cool. Right in these woods, I mean. We got a little mind float about the giant cliff. Hope there's a way down. It looks like there's a path over there. Yeah, kind of. How close are we? We're pretty much about there. I think this is the Skyrim entrance. Ah, man. This is so sketch. Christ. What am I to do? Not that I can expect any useful advice from you. At least you've no more cares. Need someone to talk to? Fuck! Don't, don't kill me. I, I can explain. I, I won't tell anyone. I swear, I've no one to tell anyway. Just please don't kill me. I'm not planning to kill you. You're, you're not one of Runt's men? No. Huh. Then who are you? Oh, thank goodness. I come here in the name of Sir Radzik Kabila and Sir Hanish of Lipa. I'm investigating the raid on the Neuhof stud farm. I've got no idea what you're on about. Save your breath. If you want any chance to escape the gallows, you'd better come clean, alright? Jesus Christ. This will never be over. So? Fine, then. That Neuhof raid of yours didn't turn out quite as planned, did it? 
Depends on whose plan you're talking about. We were up to it to grab some loot and bugger off. Only Runt's cutthroats was there to shed blood. What do you mean, Runt's cutthroats? There were two gangs there. Mine and Runt's. We was only there to steal, but they wanted to slaughter everyone. But when you realised what they had in mind, you didn't have to go along with it, did you? But we didn't know nothing, even though we were going to Neuhof. They told us to keep watch on the courtyard while they were cutting the horses' throats. Jesus, that fucking vexed me. Their horses was the most valuable thing there. When I spoke up, though, Runt gave me such a bollocking I knew I'd better keep my mouth shut. And when they said we was going to kill anything that moved, then we knew there was no going back. That gang of yours, what can you tell me about them? Don't know what you want to know. There was four of us. Me, Timmy, Limpy Lubosh, and Pius Pava. Sometimes we'd rob a place or hold up pilgrims. Never nothing fancy. I'm sure you did mischief enough. Who led you? Pius. He was the oldest and he'd mostly find the jobs for us. Plan them and the like. He got us into that fucking mess in Neuhof too. What about the others? Timmy's strong as an ox with a brain to match. You got more sense out of a fence post. And Limpy. I've been with him the longest. Oh no. My one and only friend, I suppose. Who got your two gangs together? You must have made contact somehow, right? Pius. He comes to us and says he's got this prime job. We're gonna rob a farm, he says. That was a big deal, because mostly we just did small stuff. A hold up on the road now and then, nothing fancy. When they told us how much we could make on it, well, we just couldn't refuse. So Pius knew them? Hmm. I suppose, but I don't know where from. We even got paid up front. What? Should have known from the start it was too good to be true. Where did the rest of your gang end up? You saw Limpy. How do you pay up front for a yes. robbery job? He's no use to me now. Tell me where I can find Pius or Timmy. I don't know nothing about Pius. He vanished in the woods, and I haven't seen him since. Timmy, I reckon, went back to the mill where he works. Which mill? The windmill a bit north of Neuhof. Interesting. Did you know any of Runt's people? Not a one. They didn't talk to us at all. None of their faces was familiar either. The only thing I know is they called that huge chief of theirs Runt, and Pius warned us to watch out for him. I don't suppose you know where they got to after the raid? On the way to Neuf, Timmy told me he was at their camp with Pius. I reckon that's where they've gone now. And where's the camp? Did Timmy tell you where the camp is? Somewhere in the woods. He didn't say nothing more. Thing is, Timmy's got quite an imagination. But Pius roared at him to shut it, so I reckon there must be something in it. Well, what do you say? Tell me exactly how the raid went down. Um, well, we stormed in from the rear. Runt's people started slaughtering the horses. Jesus, that was bleeding horrible. Meanwhile, me and Limpy had a sniff round the stables to see if we could find anything worth pilfering. And in the end, we got lucky. What did you find? Smill, Sir Hanish's groom. I don't know why he was up and what he was doing in the stables, but we took advantage of the situation. Limpy grabs him by the throat, and I slapped him round to encourage him to tell us where the money was. Then it all fell apart at the seams. Quicker than you'd believe, Runt comes running up and skewers the groom like a pig for roasting. My jaw dropped. I thought the stuff about killing was just tough talk. And it wasn't? No, not in the least. What happened then? I'm gaping at Smill, stuck through and through, and I noticed this boy standing at the other end of the stables. The stupid sods pointing at us, jaw hanging down to his knees, saying, I know you. Run turns to us and hisses. Take him down. So me and Lubosh start running, because the lad took to his heels. At the same time, we could hear the noise of the skirmish in the courtyard. We caught up with the boy at the next farmhouse. Knock him to the ground, but he bashes me with some piece of iron so hard my head's ringing like a fucking church bell. Limpy grabs it off him and stands over him, with his bodkin in his hand, and I start praying. In the end, Limpy just gives him a kick and says, beat it, Ginger. And then Runt shows up at the gate and hollers that we gotta go, so we scarp it. What happened after the raid? We were waiting for that fool, Timmy. 
Same place as we met them before, so he'd know where we were, right? Stupid fucking idea. But Pius didn't want to leave him behind. Only when Timmy finally turned up, two of Runt's men were dragging him. There was some difference of opinion. You could say that, yeah. They started on us right away that we were traitors. They knew we'd let somebody get away and now we were going to pay for it. They started trying to surround us and we knew what was coming. But Limpy took his bodkin and let that fucker have it in the belly. Runt. One of the others. Timmy broke free from them and we all took to our heels. Luckily they were so buggered from the raid they didn't follow us for long. They just shouted that they'd find us. That's all I need to know. So now what do I do with you? Well... Hey! Over here! It's a bell. Those motherfuckers better not kill my horse. Oh shit! Runs, people! We've got to get out of here. No, they're too close. We'll never outrun them. Fuck! At least they don't know I'm here. The two of us can take them by surprise. No fucking way. I'm gone. Look here. If you run, they'll catch up with you and kill you. And me too. Together, we stand a better chance. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. I suppose you're right. Who's there? Whoa. What have we got here? What? Entertainment! What? <laughs> What's the money? God. <laughs> oh my god. Die for Three V2? Oh my god. This is fucked up. Oh, that dude. Oh, I thought he was already dead. Guess not. Oh, that dude's fucking super dead. Well landed. Fucker. Oof. Wow, I can't believe I actually took a guy out. Dude, are you still bleeding out? Alright, buddy. We beat him. Some more questions. What? Who is this runt? What does he look like? Do you know anything about him? <laughs> Never so casual. Him but he's massive and scary as hell. Even his own men are afraid of him. Did you notice what his sword looked like? No, it was just a regular sword, I think. Why do you ask? I think I once had the doubtful honor of meeting that bastard, and he has something that doesn't belong to him. You're coming with me. Sir Radzig and Sir Hanish will want to hear what you've got to say. I don't suppose there's any chance you might turn a blind eye. Why should I? I didn't do nothing all that bad, and I told you everything I know. You can tell them yourself, and leave me here. And in a few weeks, I'll pack up and clear off. It might be best if you disappeared. You're no use to me anymore anyway. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll remember this till the day I die. Best just try living honestly. I'll do my best. I promise. Fantastic. Well, uh... Gonna find these bandit corpses and loot them. Oh, yes. I don't even need the bandages, I think. Six Groshen. Ooh, some honey. It's jacket. I don't think... I mean, it's a lot of friggin' cash, but it's 13 pounds. I mean, I've got the spare inventory space. The rest of this is dog shit. A trusty companion. A yoinkity. 
heavy shield. How heavy is it? Let's see, it'd be under armor, right? Weapons? Seven pounds. Not that heavy. Uh, I don't really like fighting with the shields. They feel a little bit awkward. Let's see. Wow, this is mostly broken. Still worth 73 Groshen. Mm. I mean, I'll grab it. I can always throw it away if I... 264,000. Or 100 Groshen. Even the Waffen Rocks. Pretty valuable. That... Coif, that male coif. Yeah, it could replace my thingy. That would give me... Wait, is it giving me less? No, it's minus two because it's injured. Absolutely yes. That is friggin' badass. Wait, didn't you have a weapon too? That roll down the hill too? Please, no. God, it did. I think I see it over here. Hunting sword. A yoink. This is a good haul. I feel rich. Stinky didn't even loot his bandit. Well, fuck it. I'm gonna... If he's not looting it, I will. Black hood's pretty valuable. Jerkin's kind of heavy and not worth much. Patched hose. Oh, yes. And bandages. Fantastic. Okay. So, journal. Choir after Timmy at the windmill? Okay. Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, maybe... We go back to Ledechko just to sell our shit. Ledechko's got like a blacksmith, right? Yeah, we, that was the first dude we talked to. I think the blacksmiths take a lot of valuable stuff. I might as well take a loop around and see if I can identify some of the buildings here. Let's see. Oh, Taylor. Absolutely, yes. Good. Okay. Well, I guess the tailor's closed. That's a little annoying. She's just waiting in front of... What the fuck? Dude, he just didn't unlock his door. That's so bullshit. What about this? This is a traitor. I mean, they buy and sell everything, right? Jesus Christ be praised. Oh man, my armor looks so good. Good luck to you. Okay, so Black Hood. God, he sells it or buys it for so friggin' cheap. But whatever. I guess I can sell this book since I studied it already. And honey gives me nourishment, so I'm just gonna keep it. I'll try this. What about this? We're getting there. Just oh, the price of cocksucker. Oh, I'll do it. Very well. I agree. Well, I mean, that's cleared most of my inventory out. There's probably a little more I could get rid of. It makes me less visible. Let's see. It's the same amount of defense. Very cool. Uh, do I... Let's see. Can I use any of my kits? I can repair my Waffen Rock. I'm too bad at repairing for all the other ones. Cobbler's kit, nope. Blacksmith's, might as well keep my shit paired. Okay. 
guess I'll go to the blacksmiths next and get my gear repaired, and then I'll go for the next quest. All my stuff breaks so friggin' fast, it's actually ridiculous. I mean, I guess, like, realistically speaking, if your armor is taking blows, it's getting hit. But still. Hmm, hold up. I could maybe grindstone the axe, maybe? Get a little bit of freebie repair and level ups at the same time. Okay. Oh, I can't do it with the axe. Okay. Well, I guess I'm just going to start with the hunting sword. Oh, that's good repairing. It feels good to get everything repaired, non-stinkified. The hitbox on the sword's a little bit weird. Kind of feel like I walked through the fence a little bit. Yeah. How far do I have to go? Quite a ways away. Whatever. Ooh, horsemanship. Very cool. Uh, excuse me? Jesus Christ be praised. <laughs> Jesus Christ be prayed. What have you done? Did you kill him? Me? What do you mean, me? It, it was you? You killed him! I didn't kill anyone. The corpse was already lying there when I got here. What are you doing here, nearby a corpse? Nearby a murder? I'm looking for humans, and killing any I find. You? Not likely. Oh shit, you're covered in his blood. It's my own blood. Some humans ambushed me and I got cut. And now you're trying to pin this killing on me. Well, it's true it ain't safe in these parts. I've got a funny feeling about you. But I can't be absolutely sure <laughs> you did it. I'm relieved to hear it. We'll just have to report it to someone. Unfortunately, there's not much we can do about it. Goodbye. Okay, whatever. Not quite what I expected. What the fuck is that noise? Yeah. Oh, it's gone. Okay, that's just another farmer. It's in the middle of the path. What a jackass. Okay, we just follow the road left and we'll be able to get there. Yeah. Oh. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That was a good jump. Uh, yep, here's the road. Okay. Just looking to see if I could see any bandits. Any bandit camps. I mean, we're fighting plenty of bandits. Now we've got this quest going. Alright, there's the mill. Very nice. Oh, I jumped the fence. That's magnificent. Why is this mill on like a tiny tube? Is that how all mills look? Oh, whatever. <laughs> There's the miller. He put on his miller cap. God be with you. Oh, is he a non-criminal miller? Do you know Timmy? He's a big man and, and... A complete numbskull? Aye, he works here. Or he used to, I'm not sure. He vanished a few days ago. Far as I know, no one's seen him since. But try asking his sister, Mirka. Mirka? She works here too. Take care now. She got the big mirkas, maybe. Probably means something else in uh, the language of this game. Uh, I think she's inside this house. Yep. 
Hmm. Yeah. I'm looking for a colossus by the name of Tim. Not that big. I heard he works here. I don't know anyone like that. Listen, someone wants to kill him. I have to warn him. But, but I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you about. bitch! All the others know him, so how come you don't? All right, but not here. We'll talk round the back, behind the mill. Can't believe I lost reputation. <laughs> oh, she's putting away her broom first. I see how it is. Just take your sweet ass time. I've got all day. I don't know why we have to talk behind the windmill. I guess it's a little bit out of the way. Good talk in the middle of this road. Here I am. So, why all the secrecy? What do you want from Timmy? Can you tell me where to find him? Promise me nothing will happen to him. Why do you care so much? Because <laughs> they're related. He's my brother. He's not very smart, you see. And he's always getting led astray by his no good friends. And now there's some right peculiar characters looking for him. Who are they? I don't know. But they look like cutthroats. And they said some strange things. But I didn't tell them anything. That's good. But sooner or later they'll find him anyway. Tell me where he is and I'll take care of him. He's hiding at the Colburn farm over by Merhoyed. Oh, oh. Are you for realsies? I've got the feeling you're looking for someone here. I'm looking for someone too. Maybe we could help each other. I don't think so. No? Why not? I don't stick my nose into other people's affairs, and I expect the same from them. That's a shame. A crying shame. I take good care of people who help me. Now, if someone were to tell me where to find Timmy, I might offer that man a job. We could use a small Ooh. fellow like that at the camp. You have an encampment somewhere? Well, sure we do. And no shortage of coin if you're ready to earn it. Where is it? Ha! All in good time. First proof we can trust you. Help us find Timmy. I'd really like to know All what right. his speech skill is right. before I try to line him. Really? Why would you do that? We're all Christians here, aren't we? Why not help thy neighbour? Especially if he pays two score groschen. Ha! <laughs> you wouldn't be my cousin by any chance. I'll give you two dozen, no more. Half now, and half when we find Two him. dozen? Deal. Oh, 225. Okay, excellent. Uh, he's in Ratai. He's hiding in Ratai. Oh, yeah? Where in Ratai? I, I don't know. You'll have to find him yourself. Sounds like a pile of horseshit to me. Stop wasting my time and spit it out. Oh, <gasps> dude. When's the last time I saved? Fuck. I've no idea where he is. Think you can get away with that? You don't know when to get the one who has the true. Well, the answer to my prayer. prayer. Just when I want to my rate, then my uh, Come on, <laughs> shit. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Why didn't I have my sword equipped? You'll. <clears throat> okay. Fuck me, dude. I should have known. Where the fuck am I? God, I hope. Hope I have a save somewhere nearby. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, that means I can try fighting these guys over and over. Okay, can I even fight four fucking dudes? I'll give it another try. Oh, 
<laughs> oh my god. God damn! <laughs> Dude, fuck. I'm here, Lily Liver. You're dead. Oh, no. Oh, man. I don't think it's 100% undoable. I just need to... Oh. Does she have to fucking walk so slow every single time? I could like burn a savior schnapps, but it's literally not gonna do me any good. Why am I still targeting him? Oh, that's a good spot. Call that combat. <laughs> Wait. I'll find you, you care. You can't hide from me. Oh. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Hey, come there? on, boys. Ow. Oh no, he's got. He's got the same idea I do. <laughs> you fucking chump. Oh, that one got him good. Wait, did the rest of them fuck off? No, I wanted them. Oh no. Oh man, I kinda wanna reload just because I don't wanna like fully cheat it. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go over to where Timmy is. I hope they aren't like on the road there as if they know where he is right now or something. so injured. I'm just gonna spend this whole fucking game and Oh! No, that's where these jackasses are. Are they gonna start fighting me? Well, whatever. I'm just gonna shoot him in the back. Do know where he is. Tired of life, are you? Yeah. Baller. Oh. Ignoring the peasant that's punching him. Oh my god. Don't wait. No. The answer to my prayer. And to this one, I want to defend my What's the matter? Alright, where are these fucking assholes? Come here, Lily 
river. Where could he have vanished? Are you serious? I'm gonna enjoy it. Yeah! Oh, you want to play archery, buddy? I'll fucking play archery with you all goddamn day long. Who's there? Oh, he just forgot where I was. Can't handle the serpentine. Oh, that sucks. Okay, fuck archery. Fuck you, you're not. You killed me so many times. One more to go. Wait. I think that last guy is going for fucking Timmy. But whatever, I need I need this guy's equipment. There he is. This guy's got such good equipment. Oh no, I can't have the friggin' Alberk. Man. Oh, a shard. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna have to drop a shard. Or maybe some of the extra armor. I don't need the Gamberson. Is it better than my Gamberson? So, 235? Uh, it's much more conspicuous. And I'm dropping that shit. Okay. I think I've actually done it. It's just hitting me now. I've actually fucking done it. Holy fucking crap. That took me so many goddamn attempts. There's no way the friggin' dude in black has like 10 HP he can get me. Thank goodness. Holy fuck. Oh, this guy just has chainmail? Alright. I'm gonna have to drop some shit to make room, obviously. But that is fine. Drop this hood. Drop the kettle hat that weighs four pounds and is worth ten bajillion bucks. And the broken jerkin. Broken padded armor. Alright, there we go. Holy fucking shit. I think, honestly... There's two possibilities, right? What are you doing there, pebbles? Please don't be stuck. I think, unironically, you're just supposed to either, you know, always do the evil route, or literally just fucking train with Robert or Bernard until you're max level. Cause that was four dudes. I only got one of them just by like cheeky tactics too. I don't know how I'm supposed to fight this at all. I mean, I guess you're just not. I really don't know. Okay, I don't know what the fuck's going on over there. Did I beat this guy here?
I have no idea. Timmy. Hey, Timmy. How are you today? I'm all right. Uh, have we met? We have now. Huh? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. I didn't... Oh, shit. I saw what you did at Neuhof. What are you talking about? You weren't there. Uh, I mean, I wasn't there. Don't waste your breath. You were there with Limpy Lubosh and Riki. I heard all about it. What do you want from me? Your mate Hinek told me about a whole camp full of those whore sons. And I want to find it. I need to find it. Yeah, but... <coughs> but why should I trust you, though? I'm not stupid. You might be one of them. Pretending to not be one of them. Trying to catch me out. I won't tell you nothing. Why would I be trying to catch you out? For Christ's sake, man. They crucified Limpy Lubosh and Ujits. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Shit, 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 <laughs> shit, shit. What will I do? Shit. I don't know where their camp is. That's a load of horse shit. Hinek told me you were there and that Pius warned you to keep your mouth shut. You must know something. Well, once I was there with them, yeah. Only, I was pretty drunk, so I'm not too sure. Try to remember. It was in the woods. In some kind of woods. You know, with a... Oh my god. There were some wrecked houses there and all. In the woods. A, a church! There was a church there. Kind of a broken one, though. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. Now it's all clear to me. Do you remember which way you went? It was straight north from Talmberg. When you go uphill from the castle, there's a path there. That's real that's useful directions. I think. It leads to the woodcutter's camp. If you go further on past the woodcutter's, you come across this abandoned house. Can't miss it. Looks like a house. Only abandoned. <laughs> Go to the left there and carry on till you come to this clearing with a big beech tree. Or was it an oak? Uh, you go left there again. There's this narrow path and you go straight along there. Sometimes it splits up. You just keep to the left. Until How does this dude remember these directions? By this big flat rock. You keep straight on there. After a while, you'll see a bridge. And it's right there. Easy as you please. Better than nothing, I suppose. Better than nothing? You won't tell nobody about he gave me flight. fucking GPS you coordinates. Oh no, bugger. I meant to make you promise, but I forgot. No, don't worry. But in future, find some other way to make money. Like honest work? Thanks. I'll, I'll try. On account of my sister, at least. That girl at the windmill? Hi, Mirka. Did you talk to her? What did she say? She told me you're as thick as a fence post and always getting dragged into some mischief. Did she? Yeah, she's probably right. Oh. Sweet. Fantastic. Holy shit. I'm guessing the other dude just friggin' died. I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's not giving me anything else. I'm not seeing the dude anywhere. I mean, I shot him in the friggin' head. Surely he must be dead by now. I'm not gonna worry about it. I showed a couple of pieces she made last time. Oh my god. That combat was ridiculous. Just making sure I don't see the fucker somewhere. I mean, I would have seen him on the road, right? Unless he just got totally lost. Oh, jeez, I thought this was a person, like, Blair witching it next to the tree. That was pretty hilarious. 
Oh. Well, before I go top 10, let me go to Marhojed. Sell my shit. Because he's probably going to be like, Ah. You go immediately to fight the bandit camp. If you please. Don't know why I'm giving him like a Boston accent. Okay, so there's foodery over there. Where is an inn? Is there lodgings? Looks like there might be lodgings to my left. Horse trader. Mm, not in need of horses. This horse is pretty good, I think. Well, it's probably not that good, but... It's good enough. Is there any other question mark buildings? No. Fuck. Okay, well... I guess I will talk to Sir Rantzig. He might have a bed for me. Hopefully. Well, at least have a save point. Oh. There he is. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? I have some news about the investigation, sir. Good. Tell me. I went to Ujit, where they told me I could find Lubosh. Only someone had murdered him. It seems they're trying to cover their tracks and get rid of witnesses. Indeed. The whole affair is becoming ever more suspicious. Have you any further clues? I found out about another one of them, a crony of Limpy Lubosh's. They call him Riki, and he comes from Nadechko. You're doing a good job, but you need to be careful. Have you found this Riki fellow? I'm afraid my news isn't good, sir. Hmm. I might have expected as much. Tell me the worst. This Riki fellow was hiding out in the woods, and his former accomplices really did want to kill him, because he, Limpy Lubosh and others deserted them in Neuhof. It seems they wanted no part in the killing. Anyway, Riki told me they were hired by a bandit they call Runt. He's the one who stole your sword. Those murdering whoresons weren't after loot. They just wanted to do damage. And the worst thing is, they have an encampment in the area and they're getting ready to make more trouble. Sakra. Anything else? That's all I've found out so far, sir. All right. Come back and report to me as soon as you learn anything new. About that encampment, sir. What is it, lad? I found out about the camp from another of the bandits who deserted. He's called Timmy. Big fellow, but more brawn than brain. The camp is an abandoned village in the woods to the west of Townburg. Good work, lad. Have you been to check it out? Do you know Fuck no. Are? I don't know much apart from where it is. We really need to find out more. Could you go back there and try to discover anything that could help us in the assault? The more we know, the better. And if you could carry out some sabotage while you're in there, it would be invaluable. But don't take any unnecessary risks. I don't want to lose you. Certainly, sir. <laughs> that is... He's really got high expectations like for Henry. You'll be our eyes and ears, lad. Our success will depend on what you find out. Go, and get back here as soon as you can. Meanwhile, I'll muster my men. I'll find out what I can and be right back. God be with you. <coughs> my apologies. Uh... Can I sleep here? Yeah, it looks like it. Hey, young fellow, you can't sleep here. Go and find a bed of your own. Out! Are you serious? Unbelievable. Why does it even let me sleep here if I can't sleep here? BS. Okay, well, fuck me. Um. I guess I'll go to Talmsburg. Which should have a place to sleep. And then I'll check out the encampment. I've discovered a grindstone. Ooh. Guess I'll grind my shit real quick. 
My weapon's probably fucked right now. No, it's at 100% condition. I can repair the other ones, though. I think that's all of that. If I look at my weapons... Oh, ho, 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 Henry's T-posing. <laughs> Beautiful. I think I can just cut across here to get Salzburg. Please. I just need to not run into any fucking humans. If I run into some yeah. fucking humans and I die, that would be so fucking ass. I mean, I don't see any bandits out here. As long as I stick to the grasslands and the roads, I shouldn't be in too much of a pickle. What is with all these crosses? Well, anyways, hmm. I have to go across the bridge to the next point of interest. I'm glad it at least shows it on the map so I don't have to freaking go over this place with this fine tooth comb. Hey! Wait a moment! Wait a minute! You're him, right? The boy from Scalids! Ah, uh, yeah, what do you want? You're the young fellow who came here from Scalitz, half dead, aren't you? Yes, that'll be me. Why? The lady of the castle was asking after you. She wants to talk to you. Ah, I'll go and see her then. Thank you. Very well. Don't make her wait. Good luck to you. Okay. Fine, I'll talk to the lady. Let's see. I mean... That looks like a side quest. To me. I mean, if I talk to her, she might let me stay in the lodge. This looks like an inn to me. Yeah. Oh. A good day to you. What do you need? Can I get a room here? I absolutely can. God be with you. Oh, okay. I'll talk to her first. I'm really terrified. I don't know what fucking... I don't know what places are like yeah. ultra time sensitive and ones aren't. He's got a target on his shield. That's a pretty... That's a pretty good technology. You put the target on your shield and then the people shoot your shield instead of you. Out of the way. Who are you? Oh, the stable master. It's one with the horses. He phased through my horse. <laughs> what are these guys doing? Just silently sitting. The Lord save you. What do you need? I heard you wanted to talk to me, my lady. It's true. I need something from you. How can I help? My cousin, young Sophie, is going to be wed. It will be an entry into a new What? Life, and I want everything to be perfect for her. I'm looking for a few things to give her as a gift, and you're going to find them for me. My lady, why me? <sighs> Normally I'd let the Chamberlain take care of it, but he doesn't have any taste. I can't trust him with this. Do you know what and I wear? I've been told no task is too challenging for Oh, but is that is true? true. It will be my honor, my lady. I need you to pick up an ornamental crown from Sasau for Sophie, wine from a merchant in Ratai, and a roan from the stable in Ujits. And the ornamental crown? I had the engravers in Sasau make it. But now they've written to say it will take a while longer. That just won't do. The wedding is almost upon us, and I need it. Go and see Master Jeronim Slesky and pick it up. And who am I supposed to pick up the wine from? From Conrad Hagen in Rattai. Conrad Hagen? The only person in the whole region who can supply a genuinely good wine. And believe me, I know what I'm talking about. Here you go. That should be enough. Oh, okay. You said uh, a roan from Ujits. Precisely. It's a beautiful animal. Wait till you see it. Dietrich said he'd ride it here himself, but 
I can already imagine how he'll end up killing himself on that horse. But you, so young and vigorous. Okay. A wine, a roan, and a crown. I can handle that. Thank you, Henry. I just wish there were others here I could trust so well. May the Lord watch over you. Well, I definitely think I can just take my sweet ass time. That one. Wait, hold on. Your bed? Wait a second. Does that mean... This is my bed. I can just sleep here for free. I don't have to pay that jackass. Hell yes. And I'm sleeping in it bloody. I don't give a fuck what Robert says. Oh, the health. I'm rejuvenated. There should be a traitor in this place too, right? Let's see. Let's consume 12 apples. Will restore some health to me too, I think. Yep, but once I leave the inventory. Oh no, Henry's still tea posing. What's 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 wrong, buddy? Okay, well whatever. I'll sleep and save. Ah, thank goodness. Oh no, Henry's still T-posing. Can I use these kits? No. I could use this kit though. Cobbler's kit. Not good enough yet. Repair my Waffen Rock. Fantastic. Ah, guess I'll go fight bandits.